Hey guys, uh, today we're going to be covering how to set up our machine to sew uh, heavier fabrics or heavier uh, threads. Really, really common thing that, uh, you know, a lot of our clients come in with this issue. Uh, pretty simple adjustment. We're going to go over that right now. The main thing that we have to focus on is this area right here, the tension assembly. Okay, so first thing, this machine has a couple different uh, setups, different weight springs. Okay, because this is not a digitally controlled tension, it's a manual tension dial. So we can open this up, okay? And we could swap this spring out to a more coarse or heavier, a heavier spring, okay? So it depends on the fabric that you're working with. This is just a standard, the standard spring that comes defaulted or, or standard from the factory, okay? Anything from your lightweight to your medium weight, you'd be able to handle with this. So am I saying you can't sew thick thread or, or thick fabrics with the same spring? You still can, but we would have to increase the tensions where it's almost all the way pushed down more or less on some cases. So instead of doing that, we want to have a range to go tighter and more loose. So you could change this out to a more coarse, uh, a heavier resistance uh, uh, spring, okay? The second most important part is going to be the take-up spring. Okay, so the same thing, there is a light version or a standard version take-up spring, as well as a heavier version uh, that you normally see on like the denim, the denim class machines and so forth, okay? But today I'm going to go over uh, just, you know, the changing out the regular coil spring, okay? What I see all the time is this is cranked down all the way to accommodate the heavier thread, but there's no adjustment to this resistance, Okay, so the resistance or the tension on this take-up spring is actually more important than this one on those cases. So let's say, for example, if we're working with like a heavier, you know, a, 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 a Tech 69 or 70 or 92 uh, weight bonded nylon thread, because it's so, it, it's so heavy and it's not as flexible as a polyester or, or cotton, we have to make sure that the take-up spring can whip back and, and keep uh, 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 that tension tight, even for this more coarse thread, okay? So what we're gonna do is, first off, you wanna dial in your tension dial, um, either by changing out the spring to a heavier set, okay? And the next one is the tension on our take-up spring. So normally, we could see the post right here, on the inside post. Normally, it's at the 12 and six position, okay? So what's gonna happen is, I want you to keep an eye on this, on this uh, take-up spring, as I turn counterclockwise to loosen it up, you're gonna see at a certain point, there's absolutely no tension on this take-up spring, okay? So you wanna get it to the point where it goes, when I go clockwise, it stops. From here is where the, 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 that we're adding tension onto this spring. So if it's at 12 o'clock, this is a standard tension, okay? If you flick it up and down, you can feel the resistance. When you're working with a heavier thread, normally you're gonna take this to about two o'clock, okay? Now I could definitely feel a little bit more resistance. It, this would be perfect for, let's say, denim thread, um, denim thread or anything on the, on the heavier side. If you're working with a bonded nylon thread, bonded polyester, you probably might wanna take this just a hair bit more to accommodate that thicker, that thicker thread that's not as flexible. Okay, you just have to be very careful when you're when you're when you're messing with this screw or adjusting this screw. You want to make sure that the tension dial or the knob is kind of holding the outside of it. If you take this tension dial out and try to just do it with the post, the post will break. Okay, so you have to be very very gentle when you're doing this. You can see I got the tension dial right on the outside. So as I turn the the knob is kind of holding the two posts uh, together. Okay, so standard setup is right here at a 12 o'clock position, okay? You, uh, the 12 o'clock position might not apply for every single machine. It depends on how who put it in and what position they put it in at. So another checkup would be go counterclockwise until you see this spring go to the left and you feel no tension at all. Start going clockwise until it stops. This is our tension point. Now, the more further that we go, we're adding more tension onto this spring right here. So that's a very, very important adjustment when you're working with different fabrics, heavier threads, bonded, uh, bonded threads, leather work, or anything along those lines. So really, really important. Wanted to share that with you because, uh, 
you know, it's a, it's a common issue, and we, you'd be surprised how many calls we get um, or, or repairs that we have to do just because of this common uh, simple fix. Okay, so hope this helps, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for our next video.